All right, so it's time to add some more information there. I'm going to add a little bit of text. So I'm going to zoom out. I've got all this canvas to work with. I can slap my information and my images and videos wherever I want to. And again, you're going to use the, let me go back to show you. You're going to be using this path later to say what order you want them to view the pieces in. All right, so I'm going to put a piece of text. The text is very easy to insert. You just click anywhere on the stage and you get a text box. I'm going to be using the text I've collected already. I'm going to start with the order, family, and genus. So I'm going to copy that. Move this out of my way. Go to my text box I have here and paste it. And now I can select it and move it over on my stage. Let me zoom out so I got some room. Move it over on my stage so it's not covering up my initial piece. Uh, I want to edit it. Right now it's title. I want it to be body size. I don't like that spacing there so I'm going to get rid of that. Um, I could change the color but I think I'm happy with that and I think I want it aligned left. So I'm going to leave it as is and click OK. One good thing I might do is put a frame around it so it stands out more. Right now we've got the bracket frame. Let's try putting this in a circle. And you just draw over it. And I'll try to center my text in here and then enlarge the circle. smaller so it fits better. Alright, so you can move these independently of each other. Just make sure you have the right things selected when you start moving things. Shrink that around it. And I want it to cover the whole thing. Okay, so that's my first bit of text. I'd like some way to guide the eye there, so I'm going to insert a shape an arrow just to draw the eye there. So there'll be one arrow going from the first thing to the next thing. Once you've put your arrow down you can select it and edit it just like you have everything else. I can make the line curve and change the length of it. I can change the color of it. And I think I'm going to stick with red. Alright, so now I've got a shape on there, I've got an image, I've got a title, I've got a little bit of text. I think now it's time for a video. I'm going to put a shape there in between them. So let me zoom out and see my canvas a little bit better. I think I'm going to insert a triangle. Nope, I'm going to draw a line leading from this text block to the video I want to insert. So just a couple of lines. You need to Click it for each line. Click again for each line. And once they've been drawn, you can select and edit them just like everything else. You can make them larger or smaller. Make that larger. Um, you can also click the trash can on anything to delete it if you don't like it. Rotate that around. And click on the other one and rotate it. All right, now I'm ready to insert my first video. I'm going to insert the Panda Baby Sneezing. And all you have to do to do that is go to YouTube, click the share button, and get that URL. Copy it. Go back to your Prezi, and we want to insert YouTube. You just paste the URL there, click insert, and your video appears. You can select it and move it. Like everything else in Prezi, you can resize it. You can rotate it. Let's zoom out a little bit here. Make it a little bit larger. Okay, um, that's time for some text. We've got our introduction image, we've got our first bit of text, and we've got our first video. Let's put some more text on here. Um, let's frame the text, this time with a rectangle. 
I'm going to draw a rectangle here. And then it's got my text box already re ready. Let me choose the information from the WWF about conservation. So I'm going to copy that. And then in my Prezi, I'm going to paste it. All right. It's a little large and the spacing is off. So let me get everything lined up. Case in China is a national treasure. Evidence. There we go. Okay, um, it is body text. I'm happy enough with the alignment. And I'm going to click OK. So now I can resize it. It's way too large. And I can move it on top of my frame there, which could probably be just a little bit larger. So make sure you're selecting the right thing that you're if you want your text to be smaller, that you're selecting the text. If you want your your frame to be larger, you're selecting the frame, etc., etc. And it really doesn't matter what size. If you notice the beginning intro screen, intro shot is very much smaller because when you start setting up the path, you're going to choose how much you zoom in. So size does not matter so much here. All right, time for another picture, my third picture. I'm going to put, let me zoom out and find a blank space on the canvas for this third picture. I'm going to put it right about here. So choose images, select file, and let's do this couple here. Alright, and then I can just put it anywhere on the screen. Like I said, we're going to be using the path to determine what, what people see in what order, but I'm going to make it much smaller so it's not quite as huge as everything else. I'm going to rotate it this way, move it over here, maybe draw some shapes. Maybe just a couple of lines around it. Right, so we've got one more bit of text and one more video to use. So let's add our last bit of text and we've got a circle, we've got a rectangle. Let's just use some text with no frame whatsoever. So let's copy our last bit of text, which is about their habitat and just click in the Prezi to paste it. All right, let's move it to a blank area of the canvas. Get rid of some of these extra spacing in here. And okay, it's a little bit large, but the alignment is fine. I'm gonna click OK and shrink it. And actually I want to put a heading on that so I'm going to go back in and type that this is the habitat. And okay. Alright and maybe I want to hide something about the habitat as well in there. Let's go back to the web page and see if there's something about the habitat I can include. Geographical distribution. Here we go. Um, let's take this sentence here. Giant pandas live in a few mountain ranges in China. So I'm going to take that text and I'm going to hide it inside of this other text. So back to the Prezi. Right. Paste. Click OK. Select it, make it tiny, 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 to where it could fit on a period. And I'm going to put it right in there. And later zoom in. 
And the last thing I want to add is a video. And I think I'm going to hide my video in this, this um, paragraph as well. Because remember, it's all about being able to zoom. So I'm going to go to insert. I'm going to insert a YouTube video. So let's pick one out and film that short one of the baby pandas. So I'm going to select it. Choose share. Stop. And get the URL. Back to my Prezi. And paste the URL. Choose insert. And we've got our video. Now I can select it and make it also tiny, 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 tiny. And let's put that inside of the D there. Okay, and click off to make sure. See, I still kind of tell what it is. Maybe if I put that where a period would go, that would be better. And I can still make it smaller yet. Alright, so we have all of our pieces. I'm going to add a last little bit of text. Because we're assuming this is a presentation. We're going to show through the kids. So we want to ask them if they have any questions. So I'm just going to take a blank area here. And let's put it in a frame. And let's go with the same bracket frame we began with. In here. And type our text. Any questions? And I want this to be a title, subtitle, title. Click OK. And my frame is a little large. I'm going to shrink it. And that's it. I've built my present. Let me zoom way out so you can see all the various pieces. And it doesn't look like much. But this is where you, you uh, make it your own.